What is going on guys? It is Tony from Lomo Paintball and today I'm going to show you a quick video on how to program your brand new LV2. And why? Because who's the best source for paintball? It's LomoPaintball.com. Let's do it. All right, so first off, obviously you have your OLED, you have your OLED and then your LED indicator as well. We're going to be focusing on the OLED today. So Mark, let's get this in position. See where we're at. Let me know when you're good. You can turn the ASA towards me more or so tip the barrel away. Yeah, there you go. Right, like right in there? Yeah, that works. Okay. Well, we're going to first press and hold the center button. We're going to turn that bad boy right on. And then it sounds goofy, but then we're going to go to turn it off to get it into your programming mode. So press and hold that center button again. And you're going to see the screen say turn off. No. Press your top button and that will take you into your programming mode. So first up, we're gonna check, oh, you got a game timer. You guys getting fancy out there and wanna know how much time is left in your game? You can do that, you can press the center button, click on a game timer and kind of set it to obviously whatever time you want. If you press the top button again, it'll say back on your screen. You pick the center button to go back. That center button is gonna be key to each different function on this marker for programming. And then you're just going to continue to scroll up or scroll down, top or bottom. I always use the top, but you can use both. So game timer, if you want to set a game time, you can set that. Press and hold it, save with the center. I'll show you a little something here in a minute. We got a shot count. Click the center button. Look for the shot count. Total shots on this bad boy, 763. I believe you can factory reset all of this, but that'll be further on in the video. So um, I'm going to click up. I'm going to click back, press the center button to go back once again. Now we will be on to, you can have a training mode, go through your manual if you want to check out all the different options within your training mode. A lot of players don't use it, but hey, if, you, that's, if you're really, really into the game, you can definitely benefit from that. Uh, we will go up to servicing. This is where the, you're pretty much your gun tells you, hey, it's time to lube me. It's time to get this going. I need a little bit of maintenance. Press your center button. You can click servicing, it says lubricate, um, get a 10 there, and then uh, you can reset it. So once you actually do the maintenance yourself, you can reset it, you can reset that uh, servicing option so it will notify you next time when you actually need to, according to Planet Eclipse, relube your marker and give it some service. Um, let's go, click, click, let's go back, clicking the center button. Uh, We're gonna go to hardware. Click on hardware. If you don't want your sound drains a little bit extra battery, you can have an option to turn. The, so let's let's do that, Mark. Let's click it, sound. You can click that and then scroll up. You can turn it off or you can keep it back on, whatever you guys want. Um, so let's, uh, we'll keep the sound on. Save it with the center button. That's how you kind of go through these modes is saving it with that center button. Scroll up uh, to whatever choice you're looking for and then save it by hitting that center button. Uh, let's go back, center button. Let's go to filter. What's, what do we got in the filter? You got your debounce. That's trigger stuff. Um, I'm trying to look at this completely upside down. So you got your release time. Yeah, this is all trigger stuff. So if you want to get really fancy with your marker, go through your filter setting. And uh, if you really wanted to tinker, I suggest not messing with a lot of this stuff, guys, because obviously Planet Eclipse works hard in the factory. They know exactly what they're doing. So stock out of the box to me is probably one of your best options. Next up is going to be timing. This is one I definitely suggest you don't mess with. This is going to be their dwell. I believe it should be stock at nine. Yep. 9.5 milliseconds. If you guys don't know what that is. Your dwell is the amount of time your solenoid has to open and close to actually fire the marker. Leave the dwell stock. I promise you, you're not going to get much more air efficient than what they already have it set from the factory. So don't mess with that. Hit back. Um, balls per second uh, with the eyes off. That's 10 stock from the factory. You guys can obviously tinker with that depending on if you're just messing around in your backyard or if your local field allows it. Uh, you got, you're looking at your uh, rate of fire capped with your eyes on. That was previous one. And then you've got ton, you can keep scrolling through here to see. Semi, this is firing mode. This is probably the biggest thing you guys wanted to see. You can click the center button once you get there from semi-auto, which it comes stock out of the box 
to ramping. I'm gonna save it on ramping by clicking that center button and then you can move on from there. But this is your ramping. This is what NXL is gonna want. Uh, they have PSP modes, they have retro modes also on this marker. But ramping, set it, you're ready for tournaments. It's capped at 10.2 if you didn't mess with any of the other previous settings. And then we will go, Mark, we're gonna go. So you got a preset. No, we're not gonna turn off. I am trying to find, uh, was it in training, servicing? No, hardware, maybe. Uh, I'm looking for, there it is, factory reset. That's what I was looking for before I close this video out. If you guys have gone through the settings, completely messed everything up, go to here, this portion on your screen and do a factory reset on the marker. It'll put it back to stock and you will have no worries. Uh, I'm not gonna factory reset it because I didn't really change much. So this is nice because it, it doesn't seem like you, you don't use the trigger for anything like on some markers yep. and the screen pretty much spells out exactly what section you're in and what you're changing when you need to. That's exactly right. If you do get confused, they do have a full manual, a paper manual within the box or just scan the QR code. You guys can find that online as well. Also, if you do have any questions about your brand new LV2, please give us a call here at the shop. It's 586-463-9500 or 1-800-875-WOLF. Quick, wow, quick programming video on the Planet Eclipse LV2. See ya.